Hey everyone, I'm Ashik with Softarino and you're about to see how to uninstall apps from your Mac the right way. You all know you can simply drag any of your apps into the trash bin and it's technically gone, but did you know doing this leaves tons of unused files on your Mac, slowing down your system? Check this out, this is a folder that's on every Mac. Every time you install an app, files are created here so your apps can keep track of any of the changes you make to its settings. Well, whenever you drag an app into the trash bin, all of these files are just left over and after years of use, your Mac will start to slow down. Here I have my MacBook Air and I've had it for a couple of years and now it's starting to get slow. I investigated why this must be happening and I noticed that this folder here is just completely filled with unused folders and files. Well, there's a solution called Clean Apps Now. Clean Apps Now will scan your entire Mac and show you all of the unused files you might have. And if you want to uninstall an app, Clean Apps Now makes sure all of its files are gone, not just the little application icon. So let's check out how this app works. Here's Clean Apps Now on my MacBook, and it shows me all of my apps that are currently installed. I can sort them by name, how many files they have, how much space they take up, or the date that I last used this app. You can also see at the very top, there's a section for leftovers. That's where you'll find any of the apps you've deleted, but they've left files behind. So let's check out how this app fully cleans your Mac. I'll go into all apps, then sort by date last opened. Let's scroll past all of these Apple apps to find the apps I do not use at all. And here we have AnyDesk. I haven't used this app in four months, so no use keeping it around. Before I delete the app, I want to show you how using the trash bin keeps a ton of files left over on your Mac. So let's open my applications folder and find any desk. I'll also press the little finder button icon here on clean apps now so I can bring up where any desk put all of these files so we can check in real time whether it's working or not. And if you notice, this folder is actually hidden. You can tell because the folder icon is not fully visible. So let's drag this app into the trash bin and just as expected, none of these files from this hidden folder were deleted. I don't use this app, so why would I clog up my machine with these files? Now, let's place AnyDesk back into the application folder and delete it using Clean Apps Now. Just select the app and press delete. And as you can see, all of the hidden files and folders are gone. In case you've been using the trash bin method for a while and you're worried that you might have leftover files from way back, use the leftover section of this app. Here, it's the same process. Just select the leftovers you want to get rid of and press delete. Having leftover files not only takes up a lot of storage on your Mac, it can actually slow down your system. One example of slowing down on your Mac that you can check out right now is when you press the spotlight search button. If it takes a long time when you start typing in things, that means your Mac has to look through all of these extra files that you just no longer use to find the thing that you're looking for. So give your Mac a break and clean all of this out. Your Mac will run faster. Another example is when you start up your Mac. Whenever you start up your Mac, it has to do this thing called indexing your files and folders. Well, as you can tell, if you have a ton of files and folders that are just not being used, it has to index a lot more than you, it really should. So if you want to check out Clean Apps Now, use the link in the description below to get its free trial. The free trial will let you see all of your apps and all the files they created, as well as all the leftover files that you might have from years of use. And while you're at softerino.com, make sure you check out the rest of the apps because there are a ton of awesome apps for your Apple devices. I specifically recommend Walter Pro because I've been able to replace my Apple Music subscription using this app. I simply drag any of my own music into my iPhone and it shows up in the Apple Music app. And it works on your iPad, iPod, and all the apps that come with your Apple devices. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave us a like and subscribe because we post tons of awesome Apple tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Soft Torino. Tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.